Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well today. In this video, let's talk a little bit about quadratics. For an example to talk about, let's use this function of f of x is equal to 6 times the quantity of x plus 2 squared minus 2. In case you forgot, when you graph quadratic functions, they make the shape of a parabola like this. While I'll show you a few different things throughout this video, the main focus at the end is going to be to show you where the interval is going to be positive for this parabola, when it's going to be negative, the interval at which the parabola is going to be increasing, and the interval in which it is decreasing. Let's get into it. The function that we're starting with is in vertex form. And for starters, let's see if we can turn this into standard form. First, we're going to expand this x plus 2 squared, so we'll have 6 times the quantity of x squared plus 4x plus 4, and then the minus 2 on the outside. Then distributing the 6 to each of these terms, we'll get 6x squared plus 24x plus 24 minus 2. Combining the constant terms at the end, we can write 6x squared plus 24x plus 22. While this is the same quadratic function, it's now written in standard form. While vertex form lets us know the vertex is at negative 2 comma negative 2, we're going to use standard form to see if we can factor and find zeros, or x-intercepts. To do that, we're going to set the trinomial equal to 0, and I'm just going to simplify this a little bit by dividing both sides by 2 since it's a common factor. Doing so, we'll get 0 is equal to 3x squared plus 12x plus 11. At this point, you can see if you can try to factor, but we can also just check the discriminant. Remember, the discriminant is part of the quadratic formula, and it's a square root of b squared minus 4ac, and if that b squared minus 4ac is equal to a perfect square, then we could factor this trinomial. Substituting in these values for a, b, and c, we find out that the discriminant value is a square root of 12. Because 12 is not a perfect square, we know that this quadratic, or trinomial, is not factorable. However, since it's positive, that means we will have two x-intercepts, they just won't be rational numbers. Given that we can't factor, let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. Here we have the quadratic formula, and keep in mind that we already know that this part is equal to the square root of 12. Substituting the other values into the quadratic formula, we have negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 12 over 2 times 3. Next, we're going to simplify the radical of root 12 to 2 root 3. Then we'll divide everything by 2 to get negative 6 plus or minus root 3 over 3. This means that x is equal to negative 6 plus root 3 over 3, and x is equal to negative 6 minus root 3 over 3. Plugging each of these into a calculator, we see that x is approximately equal to negative 1.42 and about negative 2.58. Even though the quadratic wasn't factorable, because our discriminant was positive, it means that we still have two x-intercepts, they're just irrational instead of rational. These would be the two coordinates where this parabola is going to hit the x-axis. Here on an xy plane, these would be the two locations, and the problem is going to open up since our a value is positive. From our original form, we knew the vertex was negative 2 comma negative 2. And now let's talk about some intervals. Keep in mind that we can't find out intervals unless we know what the x-intercepts are, which is why we did all that work just a moment ago. This quadratic function is positive on the interval of negative infinity to negative 2.58, and also negative 1.42 to positive infinity. Here's where that first interval is referring to, and here's where the second part is referring to. For the intervals that are positive, we're really just looking for where the function is above the x-axis, in the positive y-values. For the interval in which this quadratic is negative, it's from negative 2.58 to negative 1.42. Hopefully you can see that shown here, where the parabola is below the x-axis, or when it has negative y-values. For the interval in which this quadratic is increasing, that's going from negative 2 to positive infinity. Basically, that's just where the parabola is increasing, or going up to the right. Keep in mind that we use the vertex to help us find that value. For where this quadratic is decreasing, that's from negative infinity to negative 2. Sorry about the positive 2 that I accidentally wrote. And with that, we were able to figure out where this quadratic was positive, negative, increasing, and decreasing. As long as you know where the x-intercepts are, and they can be either rational or irrational, and you know where the vertex is, you can find out all four of these intervals. If you found this video helpful, you can give it a thumbs up, and as always, keep up the great work.